cold. I had no idea where we were. Last night we arrived and it was dark, so it's nice to wake up and see little mountains and creatures. Some people were in tents last night. Ah. <sighs> I love camping, but not when it's cold. I prefer to be in an RV or an Airstream. Okay, time for some coffee. What is it, Kai? Uh, uh, are you mixing a salad? It's a ladle or a big spoon? Woo! Woo! <laughs> I'm really happy watching you because I think it's so fun all the things you're turning the I stick found, into. I found a brush for you. <gasps> can, can a brush for my hair? No. But what if I brushed it with my hair with it, like this? I want, I want, no, that's a stick. Now it's a stick. <laughs> Typically we travel in our Airstream, but right now our Airstream is locked up in winter in Canada. So we rented this RV and this is our first time traveling in a Class C motorhome, which has a whole new experience in itself. I'm really excited to be in this motorhome traveling up the coast to Oregon. road trip with the RV and I gotta say this is next level road tripping to be able to access the washroom and snacks and everything that you would when you're stopped without having to get out of the vehicle it's amazing so so good especially for me because I have to pee every 30 minutes we are on our way from San Diego to Paso Robles which is about a five and a half hour journey and we might stop along the way just to split up the, the drive so we'd spend the night somewhere random I don't know yet and then continue on to Paso Robles tomorrow we'll see we'll see how uh, this little one in the back holds up and this little one in the front holds up he's driving so we had a six hour drive today so we decided to break up the drive uh, worth three hours from our destination. There was places to pull over on the side of the road in, in Malibu and along the, the PCH, the Pacific Coast Highway, which is an incredible, incredible drive. So beautiful. Sunset was just incredible yeah, today. Lots um, of colors. We stopped in at a few RV parks along the way to see if they had a spot. Everyone is sold out. We stopped into Sycamore Campground and it was 45 bucks a night. Uh, no hookups, so we're not tied into any water or electricity. We're basically camping and this is our tent right now. So we have to be very conscious of the electricity we're using. Uh, thankfully our fridge is gas and our stove is gas. So the only thing we can't do is like charge our laptop. What's ready? This. <laughs> Whoa! What is it, Kai? Jack food. Our favorite. Let me smell it. Smell it. I think we should open it. It smells <laughs> ready, right? So the thing about jackfruit is when you're going to open it, you want to cover the knife in coconut oil because there's a sticky, like, sap that comes off jackfruit, and it will not come off with water or soap or scrubbing. So... It does come off with coconut oil, so there's a tip for you. Oh, I smell the pit. Smell the pit? Oh, I smell it. Oh my god. Wow. 
<laughs> oh, you're gonna be juicy. It's a juicy one, Kai. Oh my god, that's so good. Oh. Uh, good, 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 good. Yeah, wow. good. And these are the pets. Mm, just like juicy fruit gum. This is the pets. Mm. Those are the pets? Mm. 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 <laughs> Amazing. Cheers. Cheers. stopping for the night we are on our way again to Paso Robles we have about a three hour drive and I mean with a drive like this along the coast it really doesn't matter how long it takes because it's just visually appealing and if Kai's happy we're all happy and Kai can see out the window which is really nice side of the highway with this beautiful view of mountains heated up some some leftover pasta benefits of having a propane stove yeah and just had lunch on the road this is our view right now mountains and this guy who looks like they uh, got a flat tire Cava Robles RV Park and in wine country here in California. Where we currently are is a couple hours north of Los Angeles and a couple hours south of San Francisco. Good location to access and this is wine country. So we're gonna be out sampling some good wine. I've heard there's even olive tours that you can take. Kai loves olives. So we might go on an olive tour and just enjoy the California sun. I love seeing all the airstreams here. It really makes me miss our airstream, but we'll be with her soon and continuing the rest of this journey with our airstream. Did you just make friends with a fire hydrant? Is that your friend? She's just here. I'm just hugging him. You're just hugging him? And I'm speaking Spanish. You speak in Spanish? Yeah. What do you say? I say, I say Espanol. Espanol? Yeah. Give your friend a hug. Hmm. And what are you sitting on? On a train. A train? Yeah. Oh, that's a pretty good train. Get up, get up. That's fast. Is it a fast oh. train? Yeah. It is so convenient to be traveling in this RV. Like we have a washroom here, we have all our clothes here, we have, you know, extra snacks, we have a bed, we got everything. Like it's so fun to travel in your home. That way no matter where you explore and where you are, you always have the comforts of home right here. You ready for olive tasting? I'm ready. <laughs> One of the things you have to do when you're in Paso Robles is not just go wine tasting. Everyone knows it's wine country, but it's also olive oil country. Because the climate is so similar to the Mediterranean in Italy, they can grow olives here. And there are a lot of places where you can do some olive tasting. We chose this one because it's organic and it had really good reviews, so. 
Hi, I'm Andrea and I'm here at Paso Levo Ranch out on Vineyard Drive in Paso Robles, California. We're a family owned olive oil company and we do tastings and tours. We got 45 planted acres, 7,000 trees, 12 different varieties of olives, seven Tuscan, one French and four Spanish. And it's all hand picked during harvest time. And we press, mill, bottle and do everything on property. So the perfect time to visit is during harvest time. We actually do tours of the mill. You can try the oil press straight from the mill. Um, it's a really unique experience. We've got new flavors coming out every time and we do uh, food trucks and we do really cool events with other wineries. Kai, what do you have there? Olives. What kind of olives? Are they black olives? Yep. And green olives? Mm. Should we open them up? Mm. Okay. There's tomato inside. Oh, Isn't that I, fun? Like, I like tomato. Give it a try. Tell me how it is. That's a big olive. That's a big olive. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. A lot of drool. Is it good? Yeah. Alrighty, so I've got that first plate here for you guys. Uh, number one, Cucina is going to be the butteriest and the mildest of the four. Number two, Classic is going to be kind of grassy, kind of peppery. It has all three varieties, so that's where it gets all the flavor from. Number three is uh, California. That's going to be um, the grassiest of the four with a nice arugula bite to it. And number four is Tuscan. That one's going to be bold and peppery with a smooth finish. Um, yeah, so I'll let you guys enjoy that. I'll be back on a while with a second plate for you guys. Awesome. Thank you. Mmm. Isn't that good? Mm. God, this I love is, olive oil so much. And this, and this has got olive oil on it? Yeah, look, like this. Good idea, right? Hold on, I want to get some too, so let me just drizzle a little bit. Watch this, Kai. Watch now. I'll put this on here. I'll put it on here. And now take a bite. Yeah. Yeah. So good. All the olive oils, balsamics, and spices are all locally sourced if they're not from this property and all organic. Yeah. When the ingredients are fresh and good quality, you don't need that much to make for a good bite of food. We just got delivered some jalapeno olive oil and this is the one I've been excited for and they say that it's their hottest olive oil that they've created. And they actually mill the jalapenos with the olives. That's why it's like a red tinge. Mmm. A really nice heat. It's subtle. I thought it was gonna be a lot stronger. This tasting is a perfect way to spend an afternoon. It's like a little picnic, and it's only five bucks a person. But if you buy a bottle of olive oil, which I assume all these people are, or two or three or four, then it's free. You don't have to pay anything. So it's a perfect way to sample different olive oils that you like and then make your purchase and take it home and, and enjoy it at home with friends and family. This is really nice. When the baby sleeps. <laughs> <laughs> the parents drink. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's really yummy. Mm.